Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So, um, my friend Rick made a Rick Booth made a post um, saying that the Bema eight inch carbon fiber was the best eight inch on the planet and hands down second to none. And I would agree with him. The Bema Pro AFX three seventy ND is one of the most powerful, one of the best sounding, one of the highest power handling eight inch motorcycle speakers on the market. So um, the competition guys would argue, and it normally comes down to these two, it's either the Bema or the Euphoria Expert. So when um, you listen to a lot of competition guys, the bikes that are dominating are Euphoria bikes and Bema bikes. That is, that's just a known fact. The two most powerful, uh, most popular, most powerful eight inch coax are the Bema and the Euphorbia Expert EX8 NCD CFXL. Um, both high power, both carbon fiber, both horn loaded, both handle a ridiculous amount of power and both expensive as heck. So um, you're talking 16 to $1,800 a pair, whether you run the Euphorbia Expert or the Bema. Um, so obviously it's not for most people that do audio on their bikes, spend 2,500 to 3,500 on the entire build. You're talking almost $2,000 just for two speakers. And then you need the high power amplifiers to run them. Then my whole issue with the comment is it's a little misleading. Yes, Bama makes a great speaker, but you chose this speaker in particular to um, say is the best. It doesn't fit on 95% of the bikes out there. So most of the bikes are rider bikes that have uh, six and a half in the fairing, maybe six and a half in the lowers maybe six mines in the lid, maybe six and a half in the tour pack. It's literally 95% of the bikes are out there. We are an authorized dealer for Bama and an authorized dealer for Euphoria. We sell a ton of these speakers, but they're always to competition or parking lot pimp guys because you have to have large aftermarket lids so, um, and you'd, or you'd have to have the Dirty Bird lowers. Everything fits in Dirty Bird lowers. That's what's great. So you can run the Euphoria, you can run the Bama, no modification, drops in, you have room for a grill, no problem aren't that many bikes that we build at least where the client's doing eight inch competition lowers. So with the price of the lowers and the price of the eights and then the amplifier to push them is normally gonna go in the tour pack. Most of the installs we do are in a fairing. But I agree with Rick, hands down, if I had to pick a speaker, it would be hard to pick between the Euphoria eight inch carbon XL and the Bema. They each have their advantage, but if I have an unlimited amount of power and amplifier big enough, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the Bema. But um, I'm an authorized dealer for both, have a ton of both in stock. So it really doesn't matter to me what you pick. But when you make a statement like the best eight inch motorcycle speaker in the world, for who, what does it fit and how much power? Because after he came up with, after he did that video, after he did that post, I got at least 15 phone calls asking for the speaker. So it's great, Rick, thank you. Yeah, you got Bama clients calling me left and right, which is great. The problem is, out of all the people that called, only one of them were able to fit on their bike because it doesn't fit on speed by design twisted eight lids, even if you modify the assembly. Um, it does fit in the Dirty Bird lids, but um, it fits in the Dirty Bird lowers. Nobody that called me had the Dirty Bird lowers. So um, there are other speakers that have been made that do work and do fit, but they are not the undisputed king like the speaker that you posted. But um, it's great. I'm all about putting information out there. Rick does a great job supporting the line and, and spreading education. It's once I got over 10 phone calls, I knew I had to make a video so people understand that just because it's a great speaker and just because you can afford it doesn't mean it's going to fit your application. Um, when I have the Bamas on one of my uh, shop bikes, I actually run it on the Victory because it fits in the lids, no problem, no cutting. The Victory aftermarket lids are huge, but I'm also running. Jesus, like 1200 watts to each one. But even that, it's not technically 1200 because the speakers are eight ohms. So it's really more like six, 700, but that's that's a discussion for another day. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how badass the Bama is, the Ford Expert is, but these are the speakers that actually fit in the lids. So if you're running the Speed by Design lids or the Avant Black eight inch lids, these speakers, I'm going to show you that the Bama does not fit. 
Euphoria XL, if you cut and add the spacer, you still have to modify the speaker to make it fit. So if you have to cut the speaker, let's disqualify it and say it doesn't fit. The Cicada CH does not fit. You have to cut the spoke to get it to fit. So if we eliminate all the speakers that you have to modify to make fit, we have to disqualify the Euphoria XL. We have to disqualify the Bema Pro FX. We have to disqualify Cicada CH. But um, Euphoria actually makes the most eight inch drivers that fit. So anything with an S in the part number stands for stamp basket. Scott Owens and his crew over there did a great job of making sure that they understand there's a lot of enthusiasts out there that wanted the Euphoria name and the carbon fiber, but weren't, didn't want to modify the speaker because you're literally voiding warranty on the speaker before you install it. The speaker hasn't even played a note yet and you're cut one of the spokes off. So um, the Euphoria is a drop and fit. And before the Euphoria came out, they make the Euphoria in a sealed back and they make it in a coax and they make it in a component woofer. They all fit, no modification. Um, and then they also make the regular XL line, which you have to modify. They don't fit without modification. So Euphoria actually has four part numbers that are drop in fit, no modification. Some with tweeter, some without, some sealed back, some without. Um, the new CHX from Cicada, I wasn't aware of it until I tried it, is a drop in fit. I can't believe it. Something weatherproof and that high power handling with a large voice coil in a drop in fit. They, they got, I don't know how they did it, but they got it off. The taper on the basket is just right. So I'm not saying it's a better speaker. I'm saying it fits without modification. Um, everybody knows that's the Hertz fits. So the Hertz SX and the Hertz, as, as long as it's a Neo, anything in the 200 line Neo, drop and fit with or without a tweeter, because obviously Hertz makes all their stuff drop and fit, no modification, whether it's a six and a half that fits in the fairing, six and a half in the tour pack pod and eight inch lid, drop and fit, no modification. Um, so the Euphoria seal back fits, the Cicada CHX fits, the Cicada CH does not fit, the Bema for the longest time before they came out with these eight inch sealed back speakers, we would run in the twisted eight lids or in the Avant black lid, we would run a Bema carbon fiber sealed back six with an eight inch plate. We've installed, oh my God, hundreds of those. And that was our solution because the Bama speaker sounds amazing. If you're doing tens in the bags, the pressure from the 10 doesn't afford, uh, affect the driver's cone because it's a sealed back speaker. So that was our solution for the longest time. But now Euphoria makes a drop and fit eight inch, no modification. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that Bama comes out with an eight inch version of the six. They haven't done it yet. So if you run the Bama, you have to do a six inch and make an eight inch adapter, which is a great solution. We've been doing it for years. But um, here, check out the video. I actually showed you what speakers fit, which ones don't. Now, I love the Bama Pro 8FX 370ND. Did a video review on it two, or two years ago, and it's got 15,000 views. So obviously, it's a very popular speaker. A lot of people are running it in competition. A lot of people are obviously curious about it because that video has gotten 15,000 views. But the Euphoria EX8 NCD CX CFXL has gotten 17,000 views. So it's incredible that two speakers that the pair cost 16, 17, 1800 dollars are really that popular. It shows you how much money people are spending on motorcycle audio because they're willing to spend Fifteen hundred to two grand on a pair of speakers to put in their lids. That's awesome. But um, here, check it out. Okay, to give these speakers fighting chance, we're using a bike that already has the lock assembly modified. So it's modified, so more speakers can be able to fit. But starting with the Euphoria EXM Eight N SB sealed back, guaranteed drop and fit. Scott Owens and his team designed this speaker. It's perfect if you already have a 10 in the bag like this bike does and the bag's not sealed. Installing a six inch sealed back, drop and fit, no modification, and you don't have to worry about the woofer distorting the eight. So Euphoria wins with the most speakers with drop and fit, no modification. Next is the carbon fiber. So this is the EXM. 8SNCF. This is not a sealed back, but since it's got a stamped steel basket, it is also a drop in fit. 
So in order to get it to drop in, you do need a small spacer. If you don't want to modify the cable assembly, obviously it dropped in because this cable assembly is already modified, but that's a non-sealed bag. So if you put a baffle or if you're not running a 10 inch woofer in the bag, there's your solution. Euphoria offers the most solutions as a drop in fit because they offer this one and they offer the coax version with the tweeter in the center. So next we'll go to the Hertz SX 200 Neo. Also a drop in fit, not a sealed back speaker. But Hertz is the original company for drop in fit, no modification, whether it's their six and a half or their six mines, and also with their eight. So if you're running a speed by design twisted eight lid, or if you're running an avant black lid, drop in fit. Once again, not a sealed back speaker, so you would need to baffle it if you're running a woofer in the bag. Next is the NVS Audio Carbon Fiber 8. We have not released the specs on this speaker yet, but we designed it to be a drop and fit. These speakers will be available next year in 2024. Also, drop and fit, no modification of the cable assembly. I designed the speaker that way. Carbon Fiber 8 inch sealed back, currently the only one on the market. So now, before we get to the Cicada CX, I want to show you this Cicada CH. So the Cicada CH has to be modified along with all the other high power coaxes on the market. If you want to get it to fit, you have to modify the speaker to get it to drop in. So since it's modified, it fits. But now you're going to have warranty issues. You cut the speaker. And it's not just them. It's every high-powered 8 on the market. So you're talking Euphoria in their standard carbon fiber line. You're talking Bema. You're talking... Um, who else has a high-powered 8? Speaker with a horn. Ground Zero. So Ground Zero coax with the horn. You have to modify the Euphoria Expert with the cast frame, not the stamp steel frame. You have to modify the Cicada CH. You have to modify the Bema 8. You have to modify. But uh, so now I told you that to tell you this. The baddest 8 on the planet. Everybody loves this speaker. This is the king of all 8-inch speakers. This is the Bema Carbon Fiber Pro. Part number is the Pro 8FX 7370ND, the mother of all eights, one of the most popular competition speakers on the market. The issue is not even close to fitting. I don't care if you use a spacer, it's already been modified, it's not dropping in. And now the Bema is so massive that you can't even cut a spoke to make it drop in. Let me see the side of the speaker, Chris, because... The magnet is so big, this part hits right here. So even if you modify the spoke, it's still not gonna drop in. So we agree that it's one of the best eights on the market. It's super powerful, it's super loud. I run it on one of my competition bikes, but on this bike, it doesn't fit. And on most bikes, it will not fit. This lid's already modified, so it doesn't fit. So no matter how much better it is, if it doesn't fit, I can't sell it. But it's a great speaker. But this is where I have to give credit to Cicada on the new CHX. Because as powerful as it is, Larry and his team designed the speaker to be a drop-in fit. Look at that. So weatherproof, high power handling, drop-in fit, no modification. The speaker's got an edge. That's it. That's it. Just wanted to show, uh, show a small video, a uh, short video on how the powerful new CHX is a drop in fit for 8 inch lowers and 8 inch lids. I don't know any other speaker on the market that's done that in the higher power handling. Let's try another lid, see if it drops in there. So, to prove a point, has not been modified at all unlike the other bike. And it's a drop and fit in that one too. Let's grab all the speakers and uh, see which ones fit. Not modified. So we'll start with the Bama. 
We know it's not going to fit, but just for shits and giggles. Alright, not even close. But, this is my victory. It drops in beautifully on the victory lids. No problem. Euphoria, stamp basket, drop and fit. Euphoria sealed back, even smaller magnets, so even easier fit. Drop and fit. Hertz SX has one of the smallest baskets, so of course, drop and fit. NVS Audio Carbon Seal Back 8. Drop in fit. Cicada CH Carbon. Drop in fit. <laughs> 